We continue with Shri Shri Dilapa Kusumanjali at verse 14. And we start from the beginning again. <laughs> o Queen of Vrindavana, ever since some Manjali named Rupa, Filled my eyes with light in Vrajabhumi. I have strongly desired to see the red lack on your lotus feet. In the previous verse, Sri Raganutha attained a very sweet vision. Avshimrati Suklabi Sara. Suklabi Sara. So Suklabi Sara means rendezvous in the moonlit night. So Sri Raghunath attained this very sweet vision of this, and when that when that vision vanishes, he experiences intolerable pain of separation. The more bliss was felt during union, the more misery is felt during separation. <laughs> the maid servants of Sri Radha are the embodiments of devotional service. And when they are deprived of that service, they are feeling so much pain. Only the merciful glance of Swamini can revive the maidservant. Even in the stage of practice, a devotee must have some experience of this. When there is no experience, bhajan can be called lifeless. So yesterday we had initiation. And the name is So you hear you now what is the explanation? Sevaras means always be in the taste, in the feeling of devotional service. And this is a quality of a maidservant. And they like to be always in some service. So when I'm chanting and doing my mantras, then I remember also what is the meaning of this chanting. I also meditate which service 
I want to do this work. So in the beginning, maybe it's not so much realizations. But feelings come slowly and surely. And like now here we hear from Rabbanathas, his Vajra, his Sada, it was always in deep feelings of separation whenever he had no connection with Swami. So when he was having a vision, like he see himself like Tulsi Manjari, or he see Rupa Manjari, then he was so happy. He was not here in this. He was in the spiritual senses. And then he was very happy, always doing services. Like he wants to do for black service as well. He wants to decorate the feet with this beautiful red cup. And once this meditation comes, he is so happy. And sometimes, all of a sudden, meditation is gone. And then he becomes like a crying. He wants to again touch the lotus feet, feel the lotus feet. And then again he is in lamentation. And this is by the mercy of Rupa Manja. That's why he says, ever since some Manjari named Rupa filled my eyes with light. She gave the light of love, the light of realizations. And the eagerness to go in deep Raja. We get this mercy from our Guru, from our Guru Maharaj. But here, Raghunada is speaking directly about the Mandari named Rupa. He is already in Siddhadeya, in spiritual senses, when he says. Otherwise, he would have said Rupa Goswa. So here he is, in his spiritual senses, and being thankful to his Guru Manjari. So his Guru Manjari is Rupa Manjari. And she gave him this light, this love, and all his realizations were ignited, you know, started by Rupa Manjari. That's why he is so happy. And that's why he is also... He wants to serve now. Because he realized, or she, what is my life without servants? What can I do? Where's my Ramanjali? And here, Baba, another this Baba, she explained, even in, in our stage, in my stage, this is not so elevated. I'm a beginner. I pray for service. I pray for realization. I pray every day that I will not stay in my bodily consciousness. I will do service. Any kind of service. With this sense is also very wonderful. We are in Vrindavan. Any kind of service is wonderful. 
We are speaking for Swam. We are singing for Swam. We are cleaning for Swam. All the services are one. And that's why Baba says, even now, some feeling is there. Even though we are not like Raghunathas Goswami, not on this level, no. we are a small beginning. But feeling is also there. There must be some feeling come. Otherwise, the bhajan will be dry. So he's blessing us also, saying, I give you blessings, some feeling come now. Don't worry, your feelings, I'm hello, blessing you, they will develop. And Gurudev also, always blessing us. Do more seva, do some nice things, be, you know, in the feeling of eagerness, and something will come. <coughs> sometimes better, sometimes not so good. But that doesn't matter. Now that is life. <laughs> Here on this planet. <laughs> but we go step by step by step. And we always remember. Save us. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do? How can I remember who I am? How can I serve my friends, my Gurudev, all, you know, situations? How can I be in love, in Srimati Radhika's feelings? And in this longing and in, in this waiting, he's, she is waiting for a glance of Shri. There is a very personal relationship between them. And that also means she has had an experience that Shri Mati had sometimes so, I think it must, must be such an experience to be seen by Shri Mati directly to your eyes. She what this means. And she, she is also, she has this, this tangling. Yes, she does mean me. I am waiting for her. She is shy. I, I would like this glance. And that is also this. Yes. Yeah, she, she looks back. She's like, oh, God. So there is an exchange. Change of love. And this needs. When there is no experience, Bajan can be called lifeless. <coughs> I am chanting the holy name that I don't relish the sweetness of the name. I am performing all items of devotion like hearing, chanting, and deity worship just like a machine. In Sri Bhagavata it is said just as the body is nourished strengthened and relieved from hunger by every mouthful of food that we take. Devotion, experience of God and renunciation 
of sense gratification. All appear simultaneously when we do bhajan. One more time. Just as the body is nourished, strengthened and relieved from hunger by every mouthful of food that we take, devotion experience of God and renunciation of sense gratification all appear simultaneously when we do Pancha. There are no shortage of helpers on the path of devotion. Even if a devotee falls there, there are always people behind him that will pick him up. Yeah, this is also very, very beautiful. Why? That even, you know, all of us, we try our best. But there will be times when it becomes difficult. When there's no taste, we go back to some old habits. Whatever that may be, for all of us it's different. But in bhakti, it's so beautiful that they are always friends to help. Yeah, I am never alone. And we are practicing unconditional love. So, we are not in judgment. <coughs> we are not in punishment. We just continue now. And that is also for us a very new experience, a new feeling. Because we are used to old ways of feeling and thinking. <laughs> Many religious paths we speak about the health. Actually, Radhika's love, Nitai's love, Gauranga's love are unlimited and never ending. That is so beautiful that even if there's some difficult life times, and I cannot chant so much, I cannot come to Vrindavan so much, I like to be alone. Forget everything. So whatever that happens, I cannot do it. It's too difficult. The mind is always telling some stories. Let's forget about it. Oh, it was nice, but now no more. It was an illusion. Material mind always comes up with some chanting. It's too Indian. I'm not Indian. <laughs> we always, you know, listen to some crazy voices in the mind. Why do we come in Indian? These things come. But then, after some time, by mercy again and loving. Friends, they come and embrace. I love them so much. I again come back 
とかね。My normal position. うん、なんかそのうまいポジションに戻ることができる。May take some time. わかることですけれど。I see sometimes also good if he has disciples. It has not been in Vrindavan for 10 years or 15 years of all disciples. But when they come, g o o d it's just crazy. Always fresh, never saying anything. So, this love is so sweet, it's difficult to forget the sweetness. And as always, for forgiveness.
If you do wrong, you have to do this. Punish me. Only bhakti or love is the way again to love. There's no punishment. There's no hell. There's no love. And if I forget how to love, then I just find a friend who reminds me, who make me feel love again. So that's what's so beautiful, Baba says. There's no shortage. It's always someone there. Always someone will help. Always will someone will love again. And by loving, I again come in a loving way. I can also slowly but surely walk over the obstacles that have come to me, whatever they may be. But we also know some kind of mercy is in every situation. A jewel is in every teaching. So I accept it. Maybe not from the beginning. But after some time, I feel, oh, yeah, that's why it happened. Now I understand better. It was important for me to go through some way so I can become more strong and more confident and more blessed and also more humble. It's all good. And that's what I learned personally much from Buddha so much. To feel the Buddha in every situation, in every person. And that is my own work. I'm learning this. It's not that I always feel good. I, my mind is very much in the habit of feeling the negative. It's actually in the pure love of Srimati Radhika's Dasis, they only see the best in everything. In every situation they do service and they feel that everything that happens now is only her mercy. The hope that we have, we also become more strong, more realized, and more round and complete, no more holes in the heart. We are working on it. It doesn't go from one day to the next. But we need the mercy. Even if the devotee falls, there are always people behind him that will pick him up. The devas prayed as follows to Sri Krishna in his mother's womb. O oh, Madhava, the devotee can never fall from the path of Sadhana. Like the dry scholars and proud and offensive persons can. Because they are bound by love for you. <coughs> O oh Lord, you are always protecting them. So they fearlessly step over the heads of all different obstacles. And become blessed by attaining the service of your lotus feet.
they will step over the heads of all obstacles means. <laughs> that although certainly great obstacles may cross the path. <laughs> Have a progressive devotee. The devotee will simply step over them. Just as one steps on the stairs of a staircase. And thus ascends to Sri Vaikuntha. The blissful abode of God. In other words, if the devotee falls down, he will greatly repent within his mind. And the resultant feelings of humility anxiety and eagerness will help him to attain the great mercy of the Lord and thus become blessed. <laughs> Experience in the bhajan of Radhadasya is inevitable. It is as if the maidservant hears Swamini calling her. It is as if the voice of Svamini whose heart is most soft out of compassion is anointed with the nectar of love when she calls her maidservant. This is not attainable through a small amount of fortune. So, <coughs> Baba is comparing different kinds of relationship with the divine. First, he's quoting Shrimad Bhagavata. And he speaks about the relation to God. In trying to reach God, we have also many obstacles. And there's like the stairs we are going. And uh, he explained that it will come to success and we can be with God in Vaikuntha. That is from Shrimad Bhagavad about his God consciousness. And uh, many lifetimes, maybe also we have practiced We try to reach God. We cry out for God. 
to try to understand God. As a Buddhist, as a Christian, lifetimes, different, different situations, and this, as souls, we have been wandering in the universe, in many places. But then Baba says about the relationship to Shemata it is a different feeling here. Because she must be Radhika, it's so merciful that she calls her Dasi. It's like you said, she is very sweet and very personal and very supportive. We can hear her voice from us. She is so sweet. And so full of love for her dances. And as we have heard from the beginning, we have been recommended, right? Naguna Das Goswami is Tulsi Manjari. She was recommended by Rupa Manjari. So now we also have Guru who is also Manjari, very close to Shiva. And she has also recommended us. <coughs> and Baba is making this comparison. It, takes, it, it is like a. Again, see the rest of the last sentence. Mm -hmm. This is not attainable yeah. for a small amount of fortune. Um, it is something that it's the climax of mercy, we could say. It's the, the top of the ladder of soul who has already tried to understand God for many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. It is for sure. <laughs> Why we would still be here? We took birth. We took birth. But this birth, at this body, in this time, has this blessing. Okay, this time Krishna did not come alone. And then when he is together with Swami, we know he also changes. He becomes more sweet, more soft, more shiny. He wants to become like her. And that is our good fortune that we have now this mercy and that the sweetness is now the prominent feelings to realize. Shumati Radhika I am there, Dasi. Before it was not so sweet, very strict. That's why when Gurudev said he came to Japan, I feel they are all monks. <laughs> Why he says this? Because you have now female bodies, but in many lifetimes we did some slight, uh, strong, uh, you know, strict rules. And maybe we left the body, we did all these rules, we did all these things. And still we were like not soft. Bitter. Dry. Many things happen when we become too hard on ourselves. It's not so juicy. The heart can become like a stone. That's our achayas are praying. I have a heart like a stone, but you can melt even the ice stone. They say some things like that in the songs. So here also we hear this. This is the difference between the God consciousness of a general person 
that tries to understand God in a ritualistic way. And we have tried to. We were monks. We were nuns. We were everything. We were many things. <laughs> But now we can become nothing. We don't understand our good luck. But it is here now. And that's what Baba says. It's a, it's a lot of luck we have. It's not just now, it's already before. It was prepared. And we should appreciate this love. Yeah, be gentle to ourselves. Appreciate this love. Yes. We can uh, be happy. We have, we, have, we have all reason to be happy about yes. this opportunity. That's why we celebrate yesterday. And when we, when we are not so ecstatic, You know, the kirtan and Buddhist and dance and sing, otherwise go up. And we always, you know, we, we need to, um, to always enrich the, the mood in every moment to become conscious. You know, Chaitanya means conscious. And Guru is seeing and feeling and checking this. <laughs> be happy, no. Time to be thankful every second. But in Vrindavan also especially more because also Goranga is there. And, you know, Radha Krishna have played holy, they played coloring each other. It was such a nice place. <laughs> so we're helping each other to always be in this feelings of of thankfulness, of happiness, and we try to remember that we are lucky. It's, this happens, what is happening now in my life, it is a, a, a result, a fruit of, of a desire to really go back to Godhead for many, many lifetimes and connect on a deep emotional level, not only externally by some family tradition of religion. Mm -hmm. Am I too fast? This is not attainable for a small amount of fortune. When such transcendental visions become very vivid, it is as if it is all really happening. And when the vision vanishes, the devotee laments in a heart-rending way. Becoming totally overwhelmed. In this way, an unbroken stream of relish goes on. During visions, and as well as after the disappearance of those visions. <coughs> the relish of the practicing devotees sadhana <coughs> is also not small. <coughs> Yeah, this is also a very sweet point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
like Raghunath Das Goswami, he can see and hear and talk to Swami. And then when he is losing his vision and his trance and his connection in his Sarubhavesh, then he he lament and he feel, but still in his lamentation, he also feel ecstasy. It's no difference. In meeting or in separation, an unbroken stream of rubbish. It's an unbroken, you know, feeling of ecstasy. It's a separation and we feel it goes to Ananda. And then Baba comes back to our level of practicing beginner. And he said, there's also a Don't be hopeless. It's also something. Don't think you are, you know, hopeless. There's also relish. It's always some relish. Mm-hmm. Means some feeling comes, some taste comes. Mm-hmm. We also can be uh, thankful for every drop of something. Mm-hmm. It's, also, no, it's also mercy. It's also happiness. It's also uh, feelings and all the. Uh, Positively, you know, we, to see it positive. Yes. It's, it's not to, to see the half, the glass yeah. is half empty, mm-hmm. but it's already half full. Mm-hmm. It is the, our practice mm-hmm. to stay in this positivity mm-hmm. and to come step by step mm-hmm. pray for the mercy for mm-hmm. Radhi mm-hmm. side long glance. Continue in our practice and also be positive about what I am doing. And then it will grow. <coughs> the relish of the practicing devotee sadhana. It is also not small. But an offender like me, is deprived of this relish. So Baba now takes a very humble position. He says, I have no relish. I'm an offender. And why he says this? For us, for me, so sometimes I feel there's nothing. Zero. No feeling, no taste, no joy. Just some clouds in the mind, dark. So let's see what he says. But an offender like me is deprived of this relish. Why? Why? Why am I? Why am I an offender? Why am I? What am I doing wrong? He is now quoting. He's, what is the disease? What is the reason behind that I have no relish? I am chanting because I have a certain quota. But I don't taste the nectar of the holy name. Why should my bhajan be finished after I have completed my quota? The quota should be dependent on the relish. That is desire. Yes, now Baba is explaining why we have no taste. 
思わせること思うことじゃないしょうがないのかということを説明してくれてます Because from past habits over many lifetimes we practice religion. Religion means I have a habit doing some prayers. Habit, it's my daily you know, practice. I have a habit going to church. I have a habit of doing incense to the Tamajis. But why it becomes dry? Because it's a habit. And I remember that when I came into Gurudev's association. And he slowly teaches us the difference between <coughs> rituals and spontaneous love. That was or is a very big difference. Because after some time, if you repeat the same things and the same, how do you say, habit or like duty, it can become dry. It's like, okay, I chant now, okay, today I chant my browser, then. <laughs> I have a quota. The quota means daily. It's like a bed. You feel comfortable, you don't want to leave it. <laughs> I know what I can do. I do it right. I do it uh, every day. But after some time, I don't realize that it becomes a routine and not love. <laughs> So this happens with many devotees also. It's not only with others from other religions. Yeah, it's a job. It's from 9 to 10 or whatever. I bet I do my job and then maybe I get some payment from God, like Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Something in my bank account of security, not all you pay it. This is the difference why Baba says, I have no taste. And then, what is our teaching, our lesson is what Gurdiv always calls this 24 7 love and action. It's not only in the morning or so, or in the evening when I pray, I have my altar, I have my tragedies. That is my relation to Swamini is active. It is active all the time. I think this is also material love. I can do my job this routine, born. And I can do it with anything else. And it's fresh. So I, I can decide. Hmm? Sure, the moon, we can... We can observe our mood when we are doing things. But how to behave when I feel I love the connection? When I feel dry, empty. Then it's time to check where is my 
hole where it is leaking. True. How can I not keep the mercy in my heart? And that is for myself. I have found out usually when I forget to meditate, to connect the whole day. And why do I forget it? Because external things take all my energy. And the difference is in the external things, in my job, in my family, or so, to connect with someone, to see always everywhere the divine. That is the difference, and I feel in my life, I can only say for myself, that uh, then it's time to do some clean-up. <laughs> I have to, really, I oh my God, I'm losing my feelings, I'm getting dry, I'm getting like careless. Yeah, I did my rounds, I did my, I brought some fruits to Dagoji. No, but this is the difference of the spontaneous connection in every second. And then it becomes more exciting again. Are you speaking to this person to me? Oh, Guru Dev, I meet this person and you say this to me through this person. In every section, that is uh, our sudden desire to become. 24-7 And that is also mercy to remember that feel it it's, I feel in so many things that can block me from this feeling alive in my connection with Shumatiranta and all the in the Vaishnavas. It is the difference of consciousness only. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have some experience. Yeah, well, I mean, I think in, in family life, I can always relate to having my consciousness pulled into very practical challenges. And I always try to at least remember where do I want to shine the light of awareness? Do I want to shine it on my conditioning and react out of the conditioning? Or do I want to put my light of awareness on Radharani is speaking, as you said, the Divine is speaking through my children, for example, to me in this moment of frustration or hurt or anger. Mm. So, but it's not easy, as you say. Mm. It can be always, yeah. Oh, I feel, at least for me, I'm always being, yeah, tested. <coughs> But to at least always know at the end of the day I have the power to where, what do I want to illuminate in front of me mm. and it's yeah and, and you also have to act a bit a distant mm -hmm. to this you are not only a victim Yes. You should also give up and be a victim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a good point. This this uh, victim that this victim mentality. I know this very well. It's like 
Oh my God, the whole world is bad. They are all against me. And uh, I have to quickly go home in my bed and forget the whole world. <laughs> and I do my, you know, I do this and I do that and I do my, but now I want to go to bed and sleep and forget about the whole world, bad world. <laughs> That is, uh, and this happens again and again and again. We call it depression. Yes. Then we become sick. We become tired. We become passive. And we forget our souls. And not only our souls, we forget our souls. You know, Swami, Radhika, as love, everything. It's like, a, you know, it's like some ignorance is coming. The gunas are coming strong. We think again, I am the controller, I am the victim, it's all bad. It happens again and again, it will happen. And like you said, how do I, how do I become aware? Oh, I have to be very, what you says, do your homework. Check yourself, don't check others. Don't believe in the bad world. Material world, Mother Earth is also doing her service. It's her job to be in this duality. It's her job. It's the planet of duality. I can consider each circumstance is a perfect for my spiritual progress. So I'm, I'm on the spirit on the other side. I'm not a victim. Oh, it's, it's a perfect situation. So we have to be careful to observe the mind. Am I in my Manu Britti, in my, you know, ping pong? That's <laughs> good. Or do I really try to, to come to the heart and come again to the mercy of Shinakiratka? It's an ongoing observation and choice. Every day, every second, I have a choice. So, yeah, we, uh, we, we observe ourselves, where am I in my feelings, is it more higher or lower, and, and then I try to adjust. And then, if I don't have the strength to do it by myself, like Baba says, we have many helpers on the path. Mm -hmm. I have my friends, I have my, you know, Gurudev, I have Takujis, I can speak to Swami, even, you know, to Lord Nityananda, to Gauranga. Please help me to come out of this, you know, routine of negative thinking or feeling hopeless and try a way to get out of it. There are many possibilities. It's unlimited. Yes. And then Baba says, then that's what makes the change. Yes. Then it's not this. This man, mantra is not only some syllables or some words. Then again, it becomes love. She Radhika is calling me. Oh, you calling me. I feel again different. So it's a, it's a ongoing uh, observation and prayer and shift of my perception. And if I cannot do it myself, I ask somebody for help. That also requires humility and honest. But it's, it's also when we do it, it's simple. And after some time again, we will sh feel the shift of tasteless coming to the test. Mm -hmm. That is what I feel that Baba is uh, saying, the difference, the, the relish, means how I, I feel the taste or not. 
The quota should be dependent on the relish. That is desirable. The devotee should have a natural love. For his bhajan. Just as a materialist has a natural love for his wife, children, and money. Yeah, that is that is the desire. Mm. We all love our families. We love the, the children. We love Mama and Papa. And slowly it will also happen that I love Shimati Radhika. Shimati <laughs> sometimes says this mala is a, like a navel to navel connection. Mm-hmm. Umbilical cord. Sometimes I cannot feel it. So then I come as often as I can to Vrindavan because he is very natural and then I feel more and I can again feel the connection and I pray and I go to Gurudev I can always connect again with more feelings so that it becomes natural natural means you don't have to press Mm-hmm. It comes, it just flows. You mm-hmm. lie down in the, the river of love. Mm-hmm. And then the relish or the taste, mm-hmm. when we get it, mm-hmm. and we feel it, mm-hmm. Baba also says, mm-hmm. then increase. Mm-hmm. Don't stay only with one bowel to see. If you feel it, it's so good, then go on, go on. Not to stay always in one uh, position where I feel safe. Try to also go in new areas, but without fear. That's what I feel from this, that uh, the quota, the, the number or the time I, I, I spend in my spiritual life is not something that is part of my material life. But the spiritual life becomes my life. It is me. It is what I am, what I want to be. And day and night it will be the same. It's not only when I'm here in Vrindavan, it's also when I'm in Japan, in Croatia, in Germany. Hey, Radha Chalam, come. I was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Too much ecstasy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about this, uh, that how to be a natural bhakti. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm just, I woke up and thought about this. <laughs> yes. I remember how when I go to buy, if you will do this in Kaddish, you will go to hell. If you do in front of this, Takul, in front of Takul, do this, go to hell. No, but just frozen. <laughs> yeah, we cannot um, reach it with the fear. No? Yeah. We will never reach love with the fear. We have to be attentive and positive. And if we are not, then we try to come there again. And that's going on. In the river, there's sometimes also some big 
blocks of wood. Like a tree that fell down in the river. And then when the river is collecting all the, the, the dirt at that place, you see this, no? And there's a big tree in the river. Then some straw comes or some garbage. But if the river becomes very strong again, then the current of the water will move this. Even big block of wood and it will stream it away. The heart should be filled with eagerness. <laughs> the devotee should wander around, crying out, Where are you, Radharani? The Taraka Brahma Nama Mahamantra. Uh, Hare Krishna is in the eighth vocative case. <laughs> the Lord should be called wholeheartedly. Sure. By chanting these names. Oh, I want to tell you one story. See, this is Baba says it must be with the heart. And sometimes it becomes a habit. And then it's dry. Mm. But wholehearted she means with the feeling. And even if the feelings are not so good, express them. Daddy, I feel well. You know, I am the same age of Jayananda Maharaj, same age we were born in the bodies. And also we took uh, similar times to start with Bhakti, similar, very similar life lines. Of course, he's much more, he's my elder brother. But we did both the service of distributing books, of selling books for Prabhupada, right? So, I did it also for some few years, and we were living in cars, in sleeping cars. He told you some stories? Yes. And it was a big adventure. I always loved that, because I, I am adventurer. By my material nature, I, like, I love adventure. I like to always have a new experience. So, while selling the books on the streets. It was every day a new town, every day new people. We were driving, you know, three girls, young girls, 21, 22, in the car. And uh, we get to see the whole of Europe. We not only go to Germany, we were also in Switzerland, in Sweden, in Norway. Ah, and we were traveling so much, and I love that. And that I love it. And sometimes it was hard because the people don't want to have a book. And you get a lot of chastisement. It's not always positive. No? They say, you idiot, why are you doing this? Why are you in a cult, in a sect? No, many things come. So ego is always tested. Many things happen. At one time, I had... I was really not in a good mood with Krishna. I was angry at Krishna. We were dry. It was the day that it was raining all day. And we were doing, like we called it, a marathon. 
Mm. Uh, you know, it was before Christmas, Christmas when people like to buy, fra- uh, you know, presents for friends and family. And then we always try to do more activities and be out there for long time. And that day was kind of tough. It was raining and people were in a not good mood. Nobody wants to stop for you know, looking at the books and speaking. And I was, I had one desire. I wanted to sell a whole set. I was tired of selling one book. I want to sell Chaitanya Charitamrita. <laughs> 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 I like to be a big distributor, not only a small supermarket. <laughs> so I'm driving the car. <laughs> the day was not so good. My girlfriends, they were, you know, in the mornings we read Srimad uh, Bhagavatam. In the evenings, it was evening, we read Bhagavad Gita. They were reading and you know, discussing, and my mind was just. So else, I was saying, Krishna, I am your eternal servant. But I try my best every day. And why you not send the right people to me? I am doing it every day now for many years. I am not the controller, it's you. It's not my fault if I don't sell these books. <laughs> Why not you send the right people? You are the super soul in everyone's heart. <laughs> what can I do? I am just your tool. <laughs> I was angry at Krishna. In my mind I was speaking like this. It's all your fault, Krishna. <laughs> I am going out in the rain, day and night. I am trying to serve you. And you make nothing happen. <laughs> so I was driving. And then we come into the highway and we go out in one uh, gas station where you can sleep. No, we used to sleep in the car. And then... Uh, it was raining, you know, the the, wind, the the rain, how do you call it? Windshield. Windshield wipers were going. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> and then we were standing there, we always look for a place where it's more quiet. All of a sudden, somebody knocks at the window of my, because I'm the driver, they knock here. And we had very nice cars. They have an altar with pictures the glass and behind the glass was some light so they look very much beautiful from outside you could see also the light it was winter and it was raining and it was cold and i was just lamenting to krishna and chastising <laughs> i was i didn't say a word but in my mind it was like <laughs> Nobody noticed, only me and him. <laughs> so then somebody knocked at the window and I thought, oh my God, it's one of these people again. I've seen enough today <laughs> who don't want the books. But then I rolled down the window and I thought, ah, I will say something very bad to them. Mm-hmm. in a bad way and they will again run away they should leave me alone for today all these people <laughs> I was really in a bad <laughs> not humble not service oriented <laughs> nothing <laughs> only negative <laughs> so this person uh, asked me then I wrote us with him and he the show at the altar and he says, who is this? And I thought, no, I will tell you. I said, this is Krishna. 
the supreme personality of God. I thought maybe this will shock this person and they will run away. <laughs> And he said, this is very interesting. And then he came to the other side. Anyway, to make a long story, story, a long story short, he was so interested. He wanted to find out about Vedic culture, yoga, meditation, self-realization. And he took the whole <laughs> so you think Krishna is not a person? <laughs> so, but see, I was so bad. But again, Krishna was not not even, I didn't know so much about Radhika at that time. I was only Krishna, you know, speaking to Krishna. He was immediately reciprocating. He says, I will show you I'm the super soul. <laughs> I'm sending you so much. I'm so sorry I quit. <laughs> Yeah, I was busy with other things. <laughs> so you see, the miracles they can happen in any way. No. Even that he liked that chastisement. I think nowadays I think he liked that. <laughs> he likes to be sometimes chastised. So. You have also? Come door to door. Oh, you just with the books? Every door. Every time after this, two, three days, and all day going door to door and no even one book and I was so upset I saw every discussion I told to him now it's next door they not take anything I will never go again to the city <laughs> I'm sorry. You know any result? It's useless time. <laughs> Next door, they took not also but half set of books. What I had, and then I returned to the temple. My friends asked, "How many books I distributed?" I dared to say what I distributed something. I saw, but Krishna is still not I am. No. It was so obvious. Mm. Nice, thank you. <laughs> that is the uh, exchange of love. And love is not always super, super nice. Love can also be <coughs> like this. <laughs> same same situation going door to door. Nobody thinking. And in the middle of the day, I sat on the grass to take rest and to eat something. And I speak with Krishna. What I'm doing here? I want to t tell about you, but to sell your books, I must have other qualities like uh, seller. <laughs> but I'm not seller. What I'm doing here? I'm doing actually. I'm doing, I'm doing just to return to you. <laughs> but is I return? Is no selling books? Means uh, yeah. if I could not uh, distribute, I could not sell. I'm not effective. Mm. And he is answering. Yes, in his life. In my last reaction, I heard him. He yeah. told to me, yes, in his life. In my reaction. Oh. Now I cannot go more to the civic books. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, just by speaking with your heart, even when you feel hopeless, 
disappointed or angry, but speak. It's a natural thing. Yeah. I don't recommend anger. <laughs> but it was my position at that time, and I, I was shocked. Shocked! Shocked! So I shocked. What happened next? I become very ashamed of myself. But that is the difference between the duty and doing it with the personal exchange. I did not try to be so personal all the time, but I should do it every day, but not in this mood. Now I want to do it in a loving mood. These are the funny stories, but they are very... We will not forget it. <laughs> I just was accepted in Brahmacharya Ashram. My age was just came to 90. And our president sent me and other devotees to my city. Your well, president, your, your commander in chief. <laughs> to distribute books in that place where I was grow up. <laughs> After one month and half, when we returned, before when I came, I read so much books, shit about books, when I came to Brahmacharya Ashram, before I came. I read all the books. You understand? You have to be slow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> before coming to Brahmacharya Ashram, I already read so much, shit about books. He was a monk. <coughs> when, when I was in Brahmacharya, I saw so many funny things. Funny things? Yeah. It's not written in books. <laughs> they shaved me. No. It was funny. When I look at me in the mirror, I look funny. <laughs> and and uh, when I came to Arati, we dance for metal statues. It's also funny for me what we are doing. We are not young, we are not children, what we are doing. And then I return from one month and a half. I was not more funny. It's not for me not funny at all. I understood how serious because so many difficulties in this. Uh, how to call this? Journey? 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 Yeah. For distribution. Yeah. So many, some dangerous situation. So many physical problems. All day, heavy bag. Yeah. Be on your back. Yeah. And sometimes I try to escape from police. Yeah. yeah. And then I return. Oh, we return. And again, stay in front of. Oh, in our temples, we die go <coughs> and ask from Father, please show me who are they. You are Srila Prabhupada. Who are they? Why I must so hard you work for them? <laughs> Before just metal statues for me. I understood it's not to play game. <laughs> and he showed they are light, it's not metal. Yeah. From them, the light is coming. Even this life was alive. Through this life, uh, light, I can feel they are alive, they are persons. <laughs> It was so much feelings inside, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I can ask Shri to feel my desire. Wow, yeah, that is the proof. If the feelings are involved, response will come. No. The feelings, the feelings, when there's feelings, something will move. The feelings are moving the relationship. 
and the realizations and the miracles happen. So don't be afraid to feel any feelings. Thank you, Raghacharya. So nice.